I wanted to show some of the progress I'm making. So I decided to make a module, like an NPM package, kind of like a framework that my other apps can use so that I'm not creating duplicate code over the different apps that I have um, because they're going to all use kind of some of the same stuff like um, some of this database stuff that I'm going to be doing. Um, and since they're both going to be using the same database, I thought it'd be smart to kind of put some of that stuff in the same place. So I have a, I created a module here, um, and this is using MongoDB and then Mongoose, which uh, if you don't know, Mongoose is kind of a, a framework on top of MongoDB that makes it really easy to do queries and stuff like that and turns everything into objects and stuff that you can easily um, use. Um, but I'm also using TypeScript. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to have use TypeScript for everything, so that's going to be fun. That'll be kind of the first time I've used only TypeScript. Um, the annoying thing with TypeScript and... Uh, mongoose schemas typically is you have to define everything twice. You have to define it once for the schema and then or schema and then once for the TypeScript types. But I found this cool package called TypeGoose which allows you to define it just once in TypeScript and you have these annotations props where you actually add like the the different uh, def uh, like defining basically that that row for the for the collection like this, this one's required, things like that. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It makes you just have to write it once and it creates the schema and the type for it. Um, so yeah, I have a user and just some basic information I thought I'd need. I can always change this. And a user has a list of sites, which a site is obviously something they're gonna create through Potion. And these are all the different attributes that are needed for that. So pretty happy with how this has turned out so far. Um, let's see, we can do a quick test here. This is just basically creating, should just create a user and a site. Let's see if I refresh. There we go. So we got Billy's site to come through and there's Billy, the new user. So things are working, are working and it's looking good.